You've been exposed. Do you want to know what's hot? Well, I guess not hot, but do you want to know who's been exposed? Today we're looking at talent show contestants that stole their talents. That's what's hot. Hey guys, it's Corey, and today we're going to take a look at a few talent show acts that seemed a bit familiar. Like, too familiar. That man's an imposter. That man is the imposter. Everyone loves seeing a unique act on a talent show, but when people don't know how to make one themselves, they might steal someone else's. So today, we're going to expose six acts for stealing their routine from someone else. You guys definitely don't want to miss this one. It gets pretty juicy. So I'll tell you guys how I feel about each act and then you tell me which ones are the worst in the comments below. I'll be reading each and every single comment. To begin, we have the most recent and probably the most terrifying stolen act. Kate Face is known for his first America's Got Talent audition where he literally walked onto the stage and did not say anything to the judges. It was terrifying. He pulled out oven mitts and then used the oven mitts as sock puppets. The only thing that's right, my first love. <laughs> was this really a talent? Not really, but it was absolutely hilarious to watch. This is such a bizarre talent that I honestly can't even believe someone would ever think to steal it. But apparently people do. On July 16th, Tapeface posted a photo to his Instagram with the caption of, it's the people on TV shows doing my act that I find annoying. You tell him, Tapeface. <laughs> <laughs> Although this Brazilian tape face imposter does have differences from the original tape face. He literally performs the same act. were exactly the same. What the heck? There's no question about this one. He's definitely been exposed. Up next, Arab's Got Talent ripped off an act from Britain's Got Talent. This BGT act actually reached out to us after seeing our article about tape face on our website. So Scott and Muriel are a comedic magician act who pretended that Muriel was a fake doll for the majority of the act and then she dropped the jaws of the audience when she actually was a real woman. Such a cool act. <laughs> On Arabs Got Talent Magicians in 2019, a guy named Ryan stole their exact act, literally by the second. So let's see the side-by-side -side comparisons here. Okay, first of all, what was that wig? And second of all, that's literally the same act. How do you guys feel about this one? I think it's such a bizarre talent that really shouldn't have been stolen. Do you think Brian's execution matched Scott and Muriel? Or was his better? So up next, we have Shin Lim and the stealer of his magic act. Why would someone think it was okay to steal the routine of the winner from America's Got Talent? In 2018, Shin Lim won AGT with his outstanding magic talent. You've got to see this one. Every time I watch one of his acts, my breath is totally gone. And I guess Stefano Brinzato his breath was gone too, since he totally stole his act. So he won Italy's Got Talent and Lim called him out for stealing his act. Yeah, you heard that right. Back in April, we actually took a look at this in our Magic Insider show. So check out this side-by-side -side comparison we got of the two acts. Ron 
Manzato, it is not looking good for you. What do you guys think about this one? Should he have to return the prize money? How about the title? Do you think he even deserves it? So up next, we have Leah Shimtov, who also called his imposter out on social media. He's been on so many shows, like America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, Australia's Got Talent. In each of his auditions, he astonishes the judges with his mysterious performance. He's a mentalist, <clears throat> meaning he can read people's minds. Is that you? Yes. On April 12, 2020, he posted a video to Instagram with a simple caption of copycat. It's a video of someone else doing his telekinesis act that he auditioned for America's Got Talent with. Now, I'm just saying, you think telekinesis would be like pretty hard for someone to fake since it's like a gift? Yikes, that was a pretty bad attempt. You've been exposed. If you didn't want to be exposed, make the act at least a little bit more believable. Come on. So up next, we have Paul Zierden and his ventriloquist act. So Paul Zierden won the 10th season of America's Got Talent, but it since has come out that not all of his jokes were his. Yeah, that's right. He was accused of stealing Ron Lucas's big dummy act. Just point to Valerie. We'll get even. Hi, sweetheart. The kids are not really yours. Yeah. Now, after seeing Lucas's big dummy act, it's so obvious that Zerden's AGT gag had been stolen. First of all, we've got to find you a voice, something that matches your physical appearance, something butch. Are you okay? Yes, I am. <laughs> Although the jokes aren't exactly the same, it's evident the masks are. So Ron Lucas actually talked to Deadline about Zerden stealing his act. He said, what bothers me is that he won stealing other people's acts, including my own. And then he takes credit for the originality, and that's just what bothers me the most. So although it seems like Zerden has been exposed here, he actually fought the claims by saying that he'd been using this common comedy prop since 1997. Zerden never replied to the publication, but Lucas finished off the article by saying it's obvious Zerden has talent. He just hopes in the future, if people win AGT, they do it with originality. What do you guys think of this one? Do you think that one's the worst out of everyone on the list? Don't worry guys, I saved the best for last. So next we have the literal joke thief. And let me tell you, this story is hilarious. In 2011, Jordan Paris auditioned for Australia's Got Talent. He got a unanimous yes in the next round, but then it came out that those jokes weren't actually his. Come on, Australia, you know this one? <laughs> I was like, yeah, we do, Robbie. It was 150 bucks to get in, mate. Any chance you could sing it for us? <laughs> so this joke is said to have been stolen from one of the performances by comedian Lee Mack. Come on, Glastonbury, you know this one. <laughs> we know it, Robbie. It was 150 quid to get in. Any chance you could sing it for us? <laughs> okay, okay. Paris, you know, your execution, it's all right. But I think you would do a lot better if you made your own jokes from now on. I spoke too soon, though. <laughs> In the next Got Talent appearance, he said that it wasn't his intention to rip off other people's jokes. He just wanted to make other people laugh. So he attempted to save his career and his reputation, but almost all of his original jokes fell flat. I guess you're wondering, am I going to be doing my own material tonight? I just sacked my two writers. Coffee and paste. No, that's not getting exposed. I don't know what is. He was exposed. Do you think any of these acts intentionally stole their performances? Or is it just a coincidence that this all happened? Let me know in the comments down below. So while you're there, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, follow Talent Recap on all social media, and head over to our brand new website, talentrecap.com, and stay updated on your favorite competition shows and their stars. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Corey Caesar, and that's all I've got for you guys today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now you know what's hot.